Hello YouTube and welcome to an extremely long heads up battle in the Venom special 200 $215 buy in guaranteed prize pool of 150,000 we ended up with a total prize pool of 210,000 I know it might confuse you that uh, I've simply titled this video an extremely long heads up battle but yeah, this connects with the previous video that I uploaded, which is the Venom Special $215 final table. In case you didn't watch that one, the reason why I stopped it there was because I was going out with my family to eat. <laughs> and uh, I just wanted to make sure that the stuff that I had already recorded got saved, so I stopped it there. But look, we still have half the final table to go. Half of this final table is just heads up. And, uh, Infliponcio flops that queen, takes down that pot, but doesn't get a whole lot closer. Joka Kenjic from Serbia has been the captain of this final table for pretty much the whole way through. And Infliponcio has done an excellent job. He's been a lot shorter than this and, and managed to stick around without, uh, without ever pressing the panic button. And he's stuck around in very creative fashion, I might add. He's made some very scary plays with very weak cards, and it's worked out for him. And he's got a straight draw here against Joka's pair of sevens. Five pairs of the board doesn't change much as it happens, but they might be fearing one of the other ones has a five. Joka, I think can bet this without fearing too much. Except for fearing what Infliponcio might do, because we've seen he can do some creative things. He might just call and try to hit. He does, and he does! I was going to go for the check raise, but I don't think he's going to get the opportunity. Joko with a pretty good hand, but... I don't know, this doesn't seem like a very wise spot to throw a bet out. But he will. You know, heads up, you gotta expect your opponent to have any, any type of range, and, you know, random threes and random eights are <laughs> gonna happen an awful lot, heads up. So, I... I, I, I must say I disapprove of that bet. I can see the cards, but with that run out, I'm definitely checking back if I have the pair of sevens there. Infliponcio with a small raise and Joka. I think knows he's behind, but might not be able to fold for that price. He's thinking. Come on, you can find the fold. Well, he ran out of time, so he is going to fold. Yeah, Infliponcio played that one nicely. Got the extra value on the river that I wasn't expecting. And a uh, little bonus for Infliponcio. Joka doesn't have any time bank anymore. So Infliponcio might actually abuse that. Plug forward. We'll have to see and find out. Well, I better not start now because Joker's got three twos. Infliponcio with a pair of sevens at least has something worth continuing with. And Joker's going to go with the raise now. There's two spades out there, but that's the only draw. Well, there's a third spade. Infoboncio actually has a chance now because he's got that seven of spades. I'm not wild about that raise. Now, we can see that it was good because Infoboncio had a pair. Big bet now. The way I see it, it's just... He's playing this one pretty dangerously. It's a pretty safe river. Except now Jack-10. Well, you can't be thinking about Jack-10. Joker has to be absolutely dead certain that he's not up against the flush. To be making that bet. And that bet especially. He's, he's just hoping that Infoponcio has a queen, basically. 
and way overvalues that queen. But the thing is, if you're going to overbet there, I don't know how many worse hands are paying you off. It's like ace, queen, or two pair. Or seven, four will pay you off. I just got reminded that um, I still play single-digit buy-in tournaments, and these guys are playing heads-up for a $215 buy-in tournament, and I suck compared to these guys. They know what they're doing, and Info Poncio might be going all in here against the pair of queens, but there's the flop he needed. Just has to fade a queen on the river close, but no cigar. Infoponcio did need to get lucky that time. He was very, very low. I was back to 20 big blinds. And Joka dominated here. Infoponcio probably willing to just rip it in here. At least I, I, I would think so. It's not going to rip all of it in, but... We'll take the three million. This one could be a smaller pot. And it looks like it's going to be a chop. They both have ace, ace, king, king, rag. Basically, if any card seven or higher shows up from here on in, it's going to be a chop. Okay, it's going to be chop. Even if there's a 5 or a 7, that's not going to change anything. Because they still have ace, ace, king, king, 9. So they are destined to chop this. I don't see Infloponcio folding. I don't see Joka folding. They might not necessarily get it in, but I think they're both not in folding mood here. And it's still ace, ace, king, king, 9. Nothing has changed. Goes check, check, and they do, in fact, chop it up. And even in heads up, you know what they say. Everyone loves a chop pot. Jack, ace, just a limp. And if you haven't seen the final table up until now, usually that's recipe for a 3.5x raise from the, from the big blind, but Infliponcio keeps the lid on it this time, and he does have... Actually, he's got a really nice hand now. But it's a good thing he didn't raise because Joka probably would have popped it back all in and he would have folded. Instead, Infliponcio has two pair. And ooh, Joka was calling with the ace high and the gut shot. Now he has a pair of aces. It's no good. And Joka, okay, he just called. He might have been tempted to raise there, but he... At least showed it, so it showed some pretty decent discipline there. And fourteen million, he's still got he's still got some chips here. There's only about a hundred and three big blinds in play. It looks like. This will be done. And they each have the same gut shot. Joka, of course, with the king high has the advantage. If the Ponzo can only win with a jack, he can only tie with a four. But he's going to keep going for it. And Joka is going to give him credit. I always wonder about, about being heads up with a big lead. I'm honestly not sure about this, and I would uh, I would welcome some input from any experienced players in the comments. When you're heads up, and you're up against somebody who you've got way covered, do you still give him credit when... Okay, that's ridiculously large. Do you still give him credit when he bets post-flop? Because on the one hand, he has to make something happen, so he doesn't have to have it. On the other hand, though, he's risking having this whole tournament be over with right here and now if he screws it up. Because he knows that he's the one who's at risk. 
So, you know, either or, is it situational? Depends on the player, probably, is the best answer. All right, so Infoponcio with top pair, top kicker here. Joka started out with a gut shot to a 10. He now has a double gutter, 7 or a 10, which would probably just about end the tournament. It's not a club. Big bet by Infoponcio. Is it big enough to shed this draw, though? Joka only has jack high, and now he's got the 7 of spades for a straight. Joka with... The 9 high straight, the only hand he loses to is a 10-8. When your head's up, you don't think about that stuff. You just think, oh my god, I have a huge hand. He's going to lead out for $4.4 million. I don't see any way Infoponcio can fold top pair, top kicker here. And when he calls, he's going to have only $8 million left. Just a fantastic run out for Joka. The double gutter comes through, and once again, Joka has a stranglehold on this tournament. It'll be nice and allow Infoponcio to see a flop here. And <laughs> Joka said, the Joka is on you. I'm taking this one, too. You might see that flop, but I'm the one who's going to hit it. I'm surprised it took me this long to say something like that. The Joka is on you. I think dad jokes are fair game, if anything, from the, from the early days of WPT has taught me. Even WSOP. I mean, I love Norman Chad's jokes. And straight flush draw, hello! Joka, of course, has 9 high with no draw. So, Infoponcio, with only 12 big blinds, I, I would probably just jam, honestly. But I'm a donkey, so... He's probably going to bet, yeah, something more reasonable, but it's going to work out anyway. I'm not that much of a donkey, though. The last three times I've played a non-free world, I've gotten money out of it. But if the Poncio... I, I, I tell you what, I, I don't want to... Well, I don't want to be heads up against either of these guys. They're both very, very good players. But then Flip Ponce is just so unpredictable. And he does so many fancy moves when he's not the big stack. Like, he has probably impressed me most out of out of all these players. Now, keep in mind, Chris Mormon was at this final table. He went on an eighth, but, you know. He is Chris Mormon. <laughs> But he's an established player, so I don't have to be impressed by him. Infloponcio, on the other hand, is just a guy from Peru that I don't know anything about, other than the fact that he's from per Peru. Got a draw for Infloponcio. Pair of eights for Joka. Infloponcio, probably thinking of betting here. He's not going to get it through. No, he's just going to check, and he's going to miss. So the pair of eights is good. Will Joka make the bet at it, or will he be content to show it down? He bets it probably won't be much. You know, seven hundred thirty-seven thousand, and King High does not look him up. Ten four suited. Limps in Infliponcio with enough to raise. Could go for it all. It only picks up 500,000, but uh, you never know how, how big that'll end up being. At the moment, it looks very small. 8-3 suited. Well, you know, he probably only played that because it's heads up, but he's really happy he's playing it now. Just everything seems to be going up his way. And Infloponcio bets into him. Will Joker go for the raise now? Yes. He picks up another nice hand. Infliponcio left with 16 big blinds. And, well, this is an all-in. Yep. Alright. Very good start for Infliponcio.
And 16 million will bring him within 20 of Joka. We take a look at the big blind. That's 32 big blinds. So he needs to dodge an ace. There's a couple of back doors. No, just an ace. Okay, Influbontio still playing. 16 million now. It's already been a tremendous comeback, even to even to still be in here this late. And I should re-mention this, because I mentioned this a couple of times in the first part. This thing went all the way to 2.16 in the morning. It started out at 1.05 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time in the United States, that is. Influponcio on the west coast of South America, I think is around the same area as me. Joka, meanwhile, in Serbia, I mean, this would have been like th the sun was already coming up for him. Like this, this, this game started when the sun was about to go down. And it's and at this moment, the sun has probably started to come up for him now. So this has been a nocturnal game for Joka Kenjits. I would very strongly advise him to sleep. A lot after the conclusion of this game. Infant as well, of course. Playing poker for this long is not easy. But we got 27,300 if you lose. If you win, 37,800. So 10,500 to play for. You know, that's that's no joke. But even if you do end up second, that's, that's a pretty good check to, to write yourself. It looks like Infoponcio already has a straight, but he doesn't. Still needs the queen, and if it happens... Well, actually, he can have a seven. Seven gives him a straight. He doesn't want a queen, because that'll give Joka a better straight. But, Infoponcio, as he has done many times in this final table, says, you know what, I don't even need to see a river. I'm just going to bet and win the hand right now. And even with the new blinds, he's still got 30 of them. They are now under 100 big blinds mutually between them. And Influponcio hits this one. That's 600,000, and that was quick. The pace of play I have found when you get heads up is much faster. Ooh, he's 10 clubs versus a pair. Like, people tend to stop humming and hawing when you get heads up. At least online. Oh my goodness! Wasn't expecting an all-in there. Infliponcia with enough that he might want to gamble here. That's a massive overshove. He knows he wouldn't do that with aces or kings. And he is going to go for it and hit ace and a ten! Which functionally doesn't make a whole lot of difference, but it feels pretty good to flop top two. Joka, now wondering why in the world he had to do that, looks for a diamond or a six. After that flop, it just doesn't feel right that he should have a quarter, like a 25% chance to win this, but he does. And no! Queen of Hearts, not gonna do it. Infliponcio now holds a commanding lead himself. Joka will have to figure out how to come from behind and just 25 big blinds left. 15 million left on his stack. And Infliponcio has another pretty good hand here. Maybe, maybe he'll show him when to 3-bet all in pre-flop. He didn't have to play that one, but he'll do it his way. Pair of threes for Joka, obviously. Complete air for Infliponcio. I really don't understand why these C-bets are just so small. I don't think any of them are really going to do much except bloat the pot slightly. 
Again, I'm sure they have a logic behind it. I just don't know what it is. Oh, he's going to stick around with just a pair of threes. And now he's been rewarded with an extra pair. See if he can get any more from Infoponcio. That four is a brick. He may want to shut down. I can, of course, I, I can say that. He is going to go for the big bluff. And that is going to cost him a huge pot. And once again, we are not quite dead even, but that was a huge win for Joka. Ace four versus two kings. What we like to see, <laughs> limp, big raise from from the big blind. As big a raise than I was expecting from Pocket Kings. No ace on the board, and he's gonna check now. Very interesting. It's a it's a pretty safe board for Kings. That queen is a little bit oh. And then Fliponcio wonders why the heck he didn't bet the flop. Now he's gonna bet, and uh, Joka. Certainly doesn't need to raise with the with his nothing kicker, but he will stick around. Another queen. So even if he was up against a queen, now that's beating him too. He does check, which is probably smart. And just a check behind, just in case Infoponcio had an ace with a better kicker. Now we're dead even. Oh look, an ace against a pocket pair. Joka, two sevens with like a re-raise. No all in this time, because they both have almost the same stick almost the same stack. Don't want to be throwing around an all in without a really strong hand. If the Boncio could make this call. And he will. Look at that. Already eight and a half million in the pot. Pretty good flop for sevens. If the Boncio is ace high with really nothing to go with. But they will bet. Joka, of course, those are three over cards, but they give him a straight draw. He will make the call. <laughs> the pot's now 14.1 million. The pot's are already approaching what these guys each have. Infliponcio probably wondering if it's worth it to keep going, but he is one stubborn dude. He's going to keep trying. He is hard to stop. Joka makes the call again, and with a third eight on the river, it gives him a full house now. Eights over sevens. Infliponcio does give it up, and the pocket sevens win the day. Joka once again having a dominating chip lead over Infliponcio. And isn't that the exact same flop we just saw? It's pretty damn close. Come on, robots. Pair of sevens versus pair of tens. Joka having the better of it again. It's like that last 15-minute stretch never even happened. He's right back to where he started heads up as the dominating chip leader. Eight. Infliponcio has the straight now. Uh, this game just has ways of... Messing with your head. Anytime you think it's going to go one way. Always just a little bit of a surprise around the corner. Three of hearts on the river. That's a complete brick. If the Poncio has to try and get some value himself, and he might well do it. Joker does have the top pair on the board. It's been played softly, so he might still go for it. The call, that is. I don't think he's raising. Oh, he finds a fold. Good fold. Was using these buttons. Might want to think about doing that again. Especially with 3-4 versus 9-3 here. Oh. But if I want the video link to be about the same as the last one, then maybe I should not use these buttons. Oh, it doesn't seem to be that interesting of a setup.
You know what? I really shouldn't. For head for heads up, even the worst cards can still lead to some intriguing matchups. Even if they abs have absolutely nothing, you just never know, especially with some of the moves we've seen from Infliponcio. Now, Joka by no means is a conservative player, but he's slightly more conventional than Infliponcio. He's going to limp again with Jack-10. I assume he's ready for Infliponcio to raise. Doesn't do it this time, though. It's his five. He was already ahead with the queen high. Two on the turn doesn't change anything anytime, anywhere for any reason. And the jack high should be exiting. What's he doing? Unless he has Infinite Poncio on exactly 6 7, that call doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Unless he plans, plans on raising the river. No. Maybe he just really thought a jack or a 10 was coming. Oh, Joka has had an interesting run with Queen Jack from what we've seen. That might be his pocket nines. Maybe that's his least favorite hand or something. He just has not been playing Queen Jack. If he if he's if he has an excuse to fold it, he's folded it. That's a big card though. Obviously, Infiniponcio has a gut shot to an eight, but Joka would have the higher straight if an eight if an eight comes. If an eight comes, this game is over, basically. It's a rainbow board, too. It's a four, though! Infinite Poncio hits the one card he needed. Of course, the sick thing is, he might still fold to this bet. It's an over bet, so it's a little suspicious. Infinite Poncio's got to be thinking, wait, I hit the four. What are you betting that for? And he does fold. Because the thing is, if if you don't think that he's betting the four, then he's probably betting any of those other cards, and those other cards are all higher than your four. So, yeah. I can't really blame him for folding there. That was just such a big bet, too. The... the like, how, how worth it was it, exactly, to, to risk that much of your stack on just a pair of fours? Even heads up, there's there's times when you want to wait for a better spot. Very scary run out. Joko with the best of it. Looks like they're both content to check it down, though. Joko might bet it. Oh, he's going to bet it. Is this a time for Infliponcio's surprise turning his hand into a bluff moments? No. It's a time to make a good fold. I might have called there. I would have lost. But he realized there's just <laughs> no upside to playing on that board. Oh, that's the one that Infliponcio was waiting for. Two pair. Queen and three with Joker just hitting the queen. This could be a really big pot. Possibly a double up for Infliponcio. Joker, not being careful as of yet, makes the raise here on the flop with top pair. Infliponcio, now wondering how to proceed, he's just going to go ahead and call. Act like that raise worried him a little bit. Joka. Just got called. Does he want to keep going? He is going to keep going. Infliponcio. If I'm him, I'd probably go all in here. Because there's a lot of river cards I don't want to see. If he haven't stabbed Jack-10 right now, oh well. GG. But if he doesn't have Jack-10, I want him to fold all the draws. He's going to 
take a bit of a risk there. That king on the river is not a bad card at all for a queen three. It's not a spade, and the only straight that it completed was the one that was already there, jack ten. So that's a very safe river for Infoponcio. Joka has the sense to check it back. Infoponcio can now go for the all-in, or maybe even play it tricky and only bet three and a half million or something. The standard play would be an all-in, though. In general, if you have fewer chips in the pot, he's okay. Quite. This entire final table, we hadn't seen one of those. And now we finally get one heads up. Just to twist my... Uh-oh. Just to twist my brain a little bit. Maybe maybe he was doing that to twist Joka's brain and make him call. I don't know. They both have the same straight draw, but of course Joka has... Two aces, which beats one ace, I am told. It's not Omaha Hilo, and even if it was Omaha Hilo, you'd, you'd want the two aces. That call. Eight is a brick. The only street that it completes is Jack Nine, which was already made. Big bit from the aces and gets away from it. Does Infoponcio. Poker is just a magical, magical thing. I feel like poker and the internet are a match made in heaven. I mean, look at the flags, not just between these two, you know, Peru versus Serbia, but the whole final table. Look how many different flags there were competing for the same prize. Now, granted, only two continents to play. Well, supposedly two continents. There's, of course, Russia, which is enormous and covers two continents, so maybe two and a half continents. And then there's Great Britain, which is not part of continental Europe, but technically part of Europe as a continental plate. I'm a geologist, so... Anyway, I'm rambling. Um, pair of eights, but that's an awfully bad board for a pair of eights. He may stick around. And yeah, I don't blame him for folding. There's just way too much downside. The thing is, he doesn't have a lot of chance to improve his hand to the point where he'd be comfortable. That's that's the real crux of the issue there. Like, I just think it's just magical that there's so many, that using the power of the internet, there's people from so many different countries playing the same game with each other. I would say making unlikely French. Ooh, look at that flop. Two pair for Infoponcio. Just bottom pair and no kicker for Joka. I guess it's not that exciting. He should call this one, but... Okay, that will be an action killer. I, mean, I can tell you, Joka is done with this hand. Infoponcio might keep going forward, but Joka is done. Uh, even Infoponcio doesn't want to press the issue too much. There's no chat feature on America's Card Room. You can only react with uh, emotions, so you can't really make friends here, but I'd like to feel like you know, at, least, at least some respect and bond is developing between all the players who make deep runs in these big tournaments. Especially if you have a really long heads up against them. Wow, Joker called with bottom pair. And ended up being pretty far wrong. Infinite Poncio with a bit of a gift there. And he's up to 22 million. Uh oh. That's where they come in handy. We can skip the disconnections. 
When you see an X there, it means that they were disconnected briefly. That's not them thinking. Joker with a straight draw. Inflipancio with a pair. Pretty similar textures last time. Joker still with the same straight draw. Still needs a 10. But it would be a 7 card straight. Which, of course, means nothing. But he hits the jack, which, which is good enough. Might go check, check. You know, Parajax looks kind of nice, but when your opponent was already putting chips in on the flop when there was an ace and a king out there. Yeah, I don't know about that bet. Inflaponcio folds the pair of eights pretty quickly. I don't know how many better hands are... Or I don't know how many worse hands are calling that one. It is heads up, but... I, I don't think I would have made that bet. Just a call. Interesting. Joker underrepresenting his hand a little bit. And maybe going for some pot control, considering Infoponcio has... You know, plenty of chips to do a lot of damage. Infoponcio can do a lot of damage, but he hits a 7. That's a king. That doesn't look anything like a 7. Joker with ace high is still... A head in the hand. About half pot from Infliponcio. Joker still with the best hand, and people can be sticky with Ace High when you get to heads up. Because you know your opponent could easily just have some random raggedy cards that they're just willing to bet with, but he's going to fold the Ace High here. Sometimes being sticky pays off, sometimes it backfires terribly. And I guess I understand that fold especially because Joka was sticky with that bottom pair and ended up losing some chips to two pair in a recent hand. Limp. 3.5x. Call this time. You would think that maybe they'd stop going with the 3.5x, considering it's being called now. It's being used as somewhat of a trapping mechanism. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, straight has been flopped by Infliponcio. Joka with an up and down straight draw of his own. Of course, the 8 would chop and the 3 would pretty much kill him. Infliponcio, this time. Has reason to bet a to bet a small amount, and oh, that's just mean. Infliponcio flopped it, but now it's the same hand as Joka. We're gonna chop this one up. I'm not even gonna do the jingle because Infliponcio is gonna be mad when he sees this. Basically, Joka with a six card straight deserves to have a, the whole pot, but he's not gonna get it. I'm joking, of course. That's just not how poker works. Yeah. They're pretty much destined to get it all in, and they're going to be... Well, Infoponcio especially is going to be disappointed. Joka might be okay with it. Actually, Joka might just call just in case he's up against 9-10. Nah, he will show up. And Infoponcio, I'm sure, will call, and yep, there you go. Nine against nine. Infoponcio flopped it, though. Joka. Doesn't get his chance to re-raise all in. Infoponcio with, uh... I would say a pretty crappy flop for 2-3. That should be the end of that. Press 2x again. Oh! Oh, these are interesting hands. Hold on. Min raise of the 8s. King 10 of hearts. Might have thought about raising, but he'll just call. Good flop for 8s, though. Only There's the one over card and then a pair of small ones. You will bet. Another small continuation bet. Joker with just barely enough to keep himself occupied. 
And the good runner runner straight needs a queen to fill it. Of course, we know that a ten or a king would also work. If Laponte wants to win, he needs to bet about pot. Or the two of clubs can come on the river and uh, make make sure Infoponcio knows his eights are still good. I don't think Joka can can uh, tell a very believable story here. He will check it. And Infoponcio will try and bet kind of a hefty amount there. I'm not sure what worse hand will pay him off. King King Ten thought about doing it. King Six suited with the raise, six four off. Says now we're heads up, why not? Ooh, nice flop frame for the Buncio. Two or seven. Gets him a straight. Joka with Queen High. He'll bet Infoponcio is certainly not going anywhere with an open ender. When your head's up, you got to be willing to take some risks. And player draws out, because there's nowhere to hide. I'm still fixated on that one guy in the top, in the background, in the yellow shirt, who looks so much like Daniel Negreanu. <laughs> I don't know if that's straight up supposed to be him. or Okay, now it might not be worth it. Yeah, he folds. Especially considering the fact that there's two hearts and two clubs out there. Fibuncio with the raise. Joko with enough to three bet, you would think. And he's learning. It's not all in this time. And Fibuncio, though, certainly can fold that. Put 2x again. Never mind, those are pretty big cards. Raise, probably just call. I wouldn't be shocked to see a 3-bet. Oh, he is going to flop a queen. Joka does not make a continuation bet. He might be mentally done with it. He is. Couple of twos. But yeah, a three. Ew. Three point five X. Oh <laughs> they have nothing, but they're battling it back. I think as long as we're still pre-flop, we can still pretty much speed through them. Raise. Okay, here we go. Pair of sixes for Infoponcio. Pair of fives and a straight draw for Joka. And check, check. Inconsequential card on the turn. Three! That's consequential. Joker hits a straight. Infoponcio has not made much of a move at the pot. Now he decides to make one a little too late. Although I don't think Joker was just going to straight up fold. There's the raise from Joker. And that should do it for Infoponcio in this hand. Don't think Joker has been bluff raising the river all that much. Infliponcio custom ordered that one. Now the question is, are we going to see a king and nullify the straights yet again for a chop? 
How cruel are the robots feeling today? The three obviously changed absolutely nothing. It's a Poncio. It's half pot. Joka. Still decides to call and hits the wrong straight. Inflip Poncio on his way to a double up. I don't think there's any way Joker gets away from this one. He only loses to King Jack. That is it. He does bet pot, so maybe he won't raise, but there's no flush. He has a second nut straight. He is going to raise them all in. Understandable. He had to think the tournament was all over right there. But uh, nope, Inflaponcio has the one hand that can beat him. Just the cooler of all coolers. Inflaponcio returns to the lead at 32.5 million, playing 18.5 million, or 20, and a half, 20 million now. How many blinds do they have again? And get a little tight. Couple of sixes, good flop for two sixes. Getting real tight now. And a check back this time. I think they're they oh hold on. They both hit the flop. It might be all out of 3.5x raises, because 3.5x is now, let's see, 2.8 million. Another 10 for Joka. One third of the pot this time. And Infliponcio has definitely got too much to fold. Oh. Oh, I felt that one from here. Just when you think everything might finally be breaking your way. Now, if Joker bets too. Oh, that's way too much. Infliponcio is not going to raise here because he knows that any 10 still beats him. I don't think he's getting away from it, though. Just in case Joka is bluffing, you got to keep him honest. You have a full house. He does. He does make the call, but ugh. <laughs> you got to hate it. I think Joka had him on a had him on an eight and just hoped he was right. He was right. Raised with a six seven sixes are ready to play for it all. I don't know about that. It's still pretty close. Speaking of close, look at these cards. 6-7, six, 6-6, six, six, now 10-9, 10-jack. Okay, well, at least that flop isn't anywhere near them. In fact, let's just skip ahead. Well, we're not skipping ahead, we're just fast-forwarding. Skipping ahead would be this button. Hold the phone. Pair for Joka, gut shot, and a flush draw for Infliponcio. That's basically the most inter interesting card they could have made on the turn. And a flush... For Infliponcio. Only a 9 high flush, so he's probably in check call mode. Nope, never mind. Joka call with just a pair of jacks here. He might. Wouldn't, I, wouldn't be the worst call in the world. He does make the call. Seven of diamonds. Alright, we're almost done here. No more two times. Still anyone's game, though. It could break either way at any moment now. King 9 against Ace 7 of Diamonds. Come on, robots. I think he only called this because he was a little spooked by the robots giving him the exact same cards. And sure enough, Joker with the better of the flops. I think Infoponso can keep around. There's a lot of turn cards he's going to be a fan of, and that's the biggest one of all. Gives him a gut shot and a flush draw. I don't think there's enough. I don't think Joka can bet him off this hand at this point. Big bet, but Infliponcio, if he happens to hit, like that could be game over. But he missed. This is what they call the implied odds. If he happens to actually hit his draw, then 
it might be game over. And if he misses the draw, he still has 18 and a half million left. You know, no big deal. He can, he can come back from that. He's done it before. Joka played that pair of kings extremely aggressively, but it works. Oh, now we're definitely close to the end. Okay, pair. Wait, there's no pair. Enough about the friggin' Chase Bank emails. I don't care. Quit blocking my screen. And I'm not going to use that part of the screen anymore, but it's a good thing that break happened when it did. Joker, uh, probably not calling this raise. And that, I believe, is 3.2x. Yeah. So no more 3.5x, but 3.2x is still... Oh, he's not calling the raise, but uh, nobody said anything about raising it. See, these guys can be creative. I said Joker was the more conventional, but uh, <laughs> everybody's got to find a way to push the edge at some point. Stepping out of your comfort zone is pretty much a requirement in a tournament format, unless you're in, unless you just run insanely good the whole way. Joker with three sixes. Speaking of running good, and Flaponcio is drawing dead, and of course he hits a queen because why wouldn't he? And Flaponcio is in terrible shape now. I mean, he's got to call whatever Joker bet. Oh, he's not gonna. Oh God. Now, Infoponte is probably going to bet like 2.4 million. 2.6 million. Joka can feel pretty confident his six is good. He's going to pop them all in. I would, I would assume. Or at least most of the way all in. Don't think he's just calling here. No, he's going all in. Infoponte with the queen. Has to decide whether or not Joka's BS in here. If he guesses wrong, it's all over. But he does get away from it. He's still got 11 million. And to be honest with you, I don't know what I would have done in that spot. I mean, they've both fought incredibly long and hard. So, at this point... <laughs> what a flop for Inflaponcio! Too bad Joka has 5 high, no draw. <laughs> he will bet, but I imagine this is where he just raises and takes it. I mean, they've both fought so long and hard by now. I, I don't think there's really a, a, any shame in busting out any way, any way, shape, or form at this point. Even if you make a hero call and you're wrong, like it stings more than any other elimination type, but this has to end one way or another. Another pretty good flop for Infoponcio. Joker might just say no to this one altogether. It's a gut shot, but it's not a very good one. Okay. Infoponcio with a pair and a gut shot. What will he do? Just call? Just call. Joker can only hit a seven. And yeah, that's it. That's, that's the only out he has. Pairs are no good for him. Might be giving up after that turn bet was called. I mean, that flop bet. Another bet from Infoponcio. Maybe to keep his man honest. But he'll just take the pot now. I'm sure he'll take that. Three of clubs. Ugly. But it's heads up. What can you do? And flip on sale with a queen nine. And they both hit a nine, but nobody has got a diamond.
another tiny continuation bit. Is this just a thing? Is this just a trend? Is, is everybody doing this? Is everybody continuation betting almost the minimum? Is that the new meta? Is Are we supposed to be doing that? Turn The turn bet is always much, much larger. I think I'm slowly starting to see the logic behind it. You bet real small on the flop to sort of sweeten the pot a little bit and then go for the big one on the turn. Like, that's the real continuation bet to try and take the pot down. But the pot's already bigger because you put a little bit extra in the flop. Two pair on the river, and Joko wisely shuts it down. Spades. Lots of them. Joko with a much better hand. He's shown a willingness to just three bet all in with enormous overbets before. This seems like another spot. No, he's going to make a more reasonable 3-bet. I would probably fold if I'm Infoponcio. But we'll see what he does. No, he's going to fold. Queen 3. Very nice slot for both players. Top pair for Infoponcio, Queen High Flush Draw for Joka. And somehow it goes check, check. I guess I should have seen that coming. Infoponcio had to know that an overcard was coming. Overbet by Joka. Infoponcio can't just fold to it, though. He's got, he's got his pair. There's a lot of unmade draws, and that ace doesn't hit a lot of draws. It only hits 2-3. So will he stick around? Oh, he's not even going to be tested. He's going to get a free pass on the river. And the Joker heard me and said, hey, that ace doesn't really complete any draws. I'll just let him have this one. There's the vast overshove all in with a tiny pair. He doesn't do it with with ace jack suit, but he does it with tiny pairs. I don't quite understand why. I'd rather I would rather race with a big ace than I would a tiny pair, because at least if you have a big ace, the other guy has to have either ace king or a really big pair to have me dominated. If you're doing that with a small pair, then if the other guy's got any pair, you're crushed. Now, Jacks are a very big pair, so he will just make a regular raise this time. If Poncio has a piece of it, he needs more. But he's got to start. Joka gets, you know, about a par for the course flop with pocket Jacks. There's a queen out there, but He'll make his patented quarter pot continuation bet. That six, okay, helping Infoponcio a little bit. He can move with a seven, four, or a five now. Joko going with pot control now with his jacks. Infoponcio can see a free card if he wants to. And the free card pays off. Infoponcio with a straight on the river. And Joka losing with the Lon McCarran Memorial hand. And he'll check again. And Flipponcio, he wants to go for value, probably doesn't want to bet too much here. Uh, that might be too much. Let's see. It is too much. Three million might have done it. But Flipponcio with a nice win. Your head's up. It's been going on for just short of forever. So any win is good. Re-raise with a weak hand. It's not weak by heads up standards, but it's not really a three-bet in hand. Hold on. Strained. <laughs> Six queen of clubs with a limp. King seven offsuit. 
2.6 million. Nope, not this time. I hope I don't just miss out on commentating on the six hundred on the six hundred thirty dollar PKO because I I think I am gonna have to wait until tomorrow to do that one. Joka with an excellent turn card, King High Diamond draw, and a six works for him as well. Inflapuncio has a double gutter now, three or a seven works, and he'll bet it. Joka can't imagine it's going anywhere. They're pretty much dead even right now. And Ten of Hearts, Air Ball. Who wants it more? Of course, if neither one wants it, then Joker takes it with King High. But let's see. Inflipuncio thinking. Thinking. Hong Kong. <laughs> Overbet. Joker can't possibly raise, like, bluff raise that, can he? Yeah, fold. He's got to fold. He's got to fold. Bro, your time bank. You just lost your entire time bank. For that? Good play by Infant Poncio, but Joka just let his entire time bank expire. Really not sure why. Was he seriously planning on calling with King High? If so, that would have been an absolutely jaw-dropping, amazing call. But there's, it can't ever be worth it, can it? Well, Infant Poncio does take the chip lead back in pretty convincing fashion. And the blinds, <laughs> we thought they were big and constrictive before. Now they're 500,001 million. So however many millions you have is how many big blinds you have. This one should be a quick pickup for Joka, but we've seen weird things at this table. Inflipuncio thinking. Hong Kong with the raise with absolutely nothing. And when he does that, his timing is usually very, very good. Almost impeccable, I'd say. It's at a real at a real final table the the actual chip colors wouldn't go beyond the 100k level but there'd be a lot of them at least ideally there there wouldn't be more than 100k at the table these days there probably would be plenty of 500k chips at a table because nobody likes building big chip stacks anymore except me I'm the only person who likes that Clearly. This definitely isn't any kind of whiny hyperbole at all. <laughs> Poker players would never speak whiny hyperbole. Are you kidding me? Nice flop for Infopancio. One million. That nah, should do it. Something's got to give. Queen three versus queen two. Clubs. Clubs. Doesn't want to not stand just yet. Two pair on the board. Ew. Now the clubs don't look so appealing. I'm just going to bet anyway. I don't know why. He's going to bet big anyway. For me, that's a check call. King of clubs. 
clubs. There's one club for Joker. And, well, isn't that, what the hell? Um, so you're telling me that that game was open the entire freaking time until like right there at the very freaking end. It just jump scare disappears on me. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'll bring it back. I'll bring it back. Wait, it just turned into the regular old. It doesn't have the, the spectators anymore. It's just a regular. Huh? Okay, so that was just when the blinds went up to 500. I mean, 4 versus 4, 2. Hold on, let me just make sure that I'm not replaying these. 3x. I know that was it. We were. Yeah, there's one after this one because there's the clubs. Yeah, this one. Oh, hold on. Let's fast forward because we already saw that there was going to be an interesting flop. And it sure is interesting. 10 8 hits the, the pair. Infoponcio. With four clubs. Clubs. Joka with the pair and the redraw to an inferior flush. He's already drawn dead. Now he bets it, understandably. Infiponcio. Does he just call? He just does just Oh! Okay, game over. Joko Joko is going to finish second here. I don't see any way he gets out of this one. And Infiponcio, sure he could he could lose to a full house, but at this point he's just got to say if you got it, you got it. Let's go. Let me win this game. He's going to fake tank. Now go all in. Joko with only 5.6 million left. Kind of knows that he's lost the game, but <laughs> I assume he has to call this. Oh? No, he does call. What a show. <laughs> Lol. Of course, the deal comes up there after he's already been looted. Uh, Infliponcio, you are one impressive player. And Joka, you were fantastic as well, but uh, there's just something about the way Infliponcio played that that just really, really shined to me. It isn't for three bullets too, <laughs> but the third one, the third bullet was worth it. Thirty-seven thousand eight hundred dollars to him, and off of a six hundred forty-five dollar entry with the three bullets. So nicely done indeed. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and briefly take a gander at that other game that I was mentioning and see whether or not they did a chop. So I can just say right here, right now, whether or not I'm going to cover it. All right, I'm going to do it because they did not do a chop, so I will do that one. Might take a day off, though. <laughs> uh, this is already quite a long final table to, to cover. So I'll see you when I see you with another Venom special. $603 PKO. Until then, have a great day.